Yo, welcome back to my first playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4. We're going to do the main quest here into the borderland, so let's do it. We're in Meridian. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you. The machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Oh, look what we just found. The Sun Kings. I'm sure there's so many of those that I've missed because there's this. You don't really come across them unless you've got your little scanner out. Oh, there's one up here. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when. Founding of Meridian, we found another one. This the Sun King and Errant. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osara had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osara, but I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. What? It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. 
Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons. Machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here, but the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. All right, it looks like all the dialogue's on. done. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Marad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Where are they? Here they are. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Marad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the Mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. <laughs> oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her and kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. 
Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do. You can't trust people like that. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirim are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Who hate Ursa, so more than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must. Right, let's rock. Let's see where we're going. Oh, not far. Oh, actually, yeah, it's quite a mission. Fucking hell. Right, looks like we're going to fast travel, so see you at the campfire. Alright, so finally here at the campfire. Just gotta go to Pitch Cliff. Let's head in. I haven't been out this way for a long time. This must be Pitch Cliff. Murad's agent should be in the marketplace by now. Sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. That this guy's got anything new, really? No location. 
I just have to find him. You know what some Nora call machines? Metal children. <laughs> I get back to the claim. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Rise from the factories. So they're hanging out the back here. Oh shit! He's dead. Has to be Marat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. What a shame. Multiple stab wounds. Fuck. But assassinated. It's not too far, just about three hundred odd meters. Climbing up. Are you following a path up? I swear there used to be an old bandit camp up here, maybe. Or maybe I just haven't been here yet. Which is most likely the answer. Oh, here we go. That ravager. Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. But for what purpose? He probably experiments on them or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Right in the forehead. Should really find a way to unleash. There we go. Shit. 
shit, what I should have done was, uh... Yeah, break them free. I just got sort of messed up now. By sort of having to fight them. I need to do something about this. Gonna last long doing this. You ravager bastard. I want the gun off the top. Totally messed up, man. Proper. Fuckers. Better weapons. What else have I got in my inventory I could fight with? For a human fight. The Shadow Rattler. Alright, let's do this. Got you now. Fuck, come on. Not as good as I thought. I thought this was supposed to be good against humans. Now, am I? They go. Literally, the guy just literally disappeared. Lucky fuck. Look 
what I turned up. Keep your defenses up! Not attacking the enemies. Let's try the war bow. Oh, I didn't see that fuck up there. Is that supposed to get him to fight? Fall back and circle around. Fuck, I can't see. that fucking gun he's got on the top. Probably got the wrong weapon to get it out. Fucking ass. I don't even use the war bow in that much. I usually use that machine that fires bolts at him to knock certain parts off. Oh, check that out. Spin a Rooney, man. I thought I'd try out some other weapons, otherwise. Where is it? Yeah, the tear blaster. That's what I usually use against them. Let's see if there's any of those things to scan, those glyphs. The fight sort of went on a bit more than it had to. Can't carry more. Yes, I know, I, I do that all the time, I just can't be asked to do it at the minute. Is that a trap? Your vow says you gotta eat dirt! That must affect her uh, second sight thing. Must be in there. We have to get through. 
Must be one of Durval's paralyzers. Stay put until I find a way past it. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Will not shoot the fucking thing. I think that would help. to like override shit. See if it lets us in while carrying it. Ursa! It's like torture. Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know She's I'm gonna die. Trunk, but no, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. Her ears are bleeding and everything. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. <laughs> There's loads of those cliche no, no, deaths in this. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm, I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. This machine's been picked apart with precision. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. What happens when I turn it on? I think I've got it working. There. Oh, wow. Now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. I, I just want to hear your voice and keep it for later. I'll sing, Papa. La la la. <laughs> there, a song and a laugh, even better than words. And now I can hear them whenever I want. We're done then? Off to bed with you. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Is she gone? What are we going to do? The raids are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Duval's got nothing left to lose. 
Oh, look, he's been taking apart machines and shit. Oh, there's more. Records, maybe. Just sounds about crafting. I've got better stuff than that. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find her vault too. Fuck, I can't believe there's so many fucking empty ones. Shock, what can we get rid of? I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Alright, so that's that quest completed. Looks like we're probably going to have to head back to the Sun King now. Should have really gone into this mission for a bit. <laughs> A better strategy. A strategy. It was. It was pretty chaotic. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that shit. If not, go fuck yourself. Well, I see you in my next video.